the scale of how ginormous this place is. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am in Madison, Indiana yet again today and I am at Lumber Mill Antique Mall right on the river here in Madison. It's a historic building. It's a really fun place. Let's go see what we can find today. They are open Monday through Saturday 10 to 5, Sundays 12 to 5. This booth in here I remember has had a lot of fun ephemera. Look, look little travel bingo from McDonald's. I wonder if you got this in your Happy Meal. That's so neat. Old Ronald McDonald up there. Like in the Ozarks. The TV Trouble Tracer. Hmm. The King Corn. King Corn Book of Gifts. So I guess this would be like a stamp. You know, when you collect your stamps. And the King Corn Stamp Collection thing. Like the green stamps, I'm assuming. Oh, she's lovely. This little Madonna. She's Italy. $29. Blue, white, Italy. She's beautiful. So standing, I'm standing upstairs. You can see the scale of how ginormous this place is. I wanted to show you these. Aren't these amazing? These are like the original stockings that you would get from the 50s. It's $95. It's never been opened. See that? There's the angel and then like the little toys in that one. And then this one, we've got the Santa and he's holding two little boats and cars. So I guess this will be for the girl. And this one will be for the boy. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. We've got this um, West Germany candy container too. He's $50. Some aluminum bells for $29 these little cards here these mechanical Christmas cards they've got little brads that make their arms move up and down and they are $7.50 each but those are amazing oh here we have some more of my globes these are 14 which is not a bad price I like this one because it has all these airline advertisements on it Pan Am United with all these airline logos this one's $25 I'm not gonna get it, but I do like that it has all of those old logos on it. These little composite dolls up here, 20 and $25 for the older girls. These two are 42 each. Those are fun and they're in really nice condition. And look at how fun the stuff is in here. A child story with that cat over there. And look at the little, um, the little stinkers. They're little soaps. So these are soaps. Oh, I like the bar, the, the Barber Quartet. I've sold that before. Good times at work. Okay. Are you locked? Yeah, you're locked. Those little girly candles are cute too. Good times at work. She's folding laundry. She's having a good time at her work. Oh gosh. They have a lot of fun things in this booth. This little bisque doll here. She's $18. They're painted on clothes. She is probably Japan, I'm sure, but she's a lot of fun too. Okay, so here we have a little Anchor Hawking Green Depression refrigerator dish. It's as is, so we have a booper on it somewhere. This is pretty. This little orange glass. It is hand-blown crimped glass. It's $9.50. I think that's really pretty there. Um, it's like a cigar ashtray, possibly. And let's see. We've got some enamelware. Some kitchen tools. Oh, there's bedtime, bedtime Ernie over there in the in the windowsill. All right, this little baby here coming out of his box. He's ready to go play baseball. There's a really pretty floor line vase, which is made by Hager. It was a line done by Hager. You can see we still got there some remnants of some uh, floors foam down there. It's $17.50. I just really like it. I think it'd be really pretty this spring with some pink florals in it. So I think I'm going to get this. I'm probably going to keep it for myself for a little while. Hello, friends. And you know what? We're going to do a haul, a good old fashioned haul. Here's the thing. I was filming at uh, the Lumber Mill Antique Mall. And I had filmed four other videos that day or three other videos that day. And I just was like, I was like, I, my, my tank was on E. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a haul 
to finish up this video. And my phone was like on 15% when I started filming. So I knew I was going to eventually run out of battery anyway. So we're just going to do a good old fashioned haul video. It's been a long time. And I know that a lot of people have told me and they've commented, I miss the hauls. I miss the hauls. But the majority of the time, everything that when I'm filming a shop with me, everything that I, that you see me show, unless I say I'm not going to get this are things that I have bought. So that's typically why I don't do a haul because they do take a lot of time to set up and then take down. And then, so that's, that's the reason why I don't do hauls a lot of the time because you're seeing what I'm buying as I'm buying it. So <clears throat> I went to the lumber mill in Madison, Indiana. It's always a fun place to go. It's huge. You saw when I was standing above on the middle, there's three, three stories and I was standing on the middle level. It's just ginormous. It's it's a, it's a great, great mall. So everything that I'm going to show you, I did spend, my total amount spent was 106, no, $171. It's right here in front of me. I still can't read it. So I got several aprons from this boot, from this one particular, actually I got several things from this one particular booth. Um, and I don't know, the way that they were displayed w was lovely. And so they, she had them hanging up on the wall with like a satin hanger. And I have some wooden hangers that I might try to pull out and find to display with these. But they are like, these are like the, like, do who remembers their grandma having little aprons like this? And these are in pristine condition. Look at the colors, the purple and the red and the aqua blue. So they, and they're pressed. So like everything in this lady's booth was pressed and nice. And oh, it's so inviting. So it's a full apron or full front apron, but the way that she had them displayed, you could hang them on your wall in your kitchen. I think that is an amazing idea. So I got this one and it, uh, yeah, they, I, I picked the ones that had pockets. So this one has a little pocket right here. And then I also got this one and I think this one will be great for like a Valentine's day. And you know, if you need to wear an apron during Valentine's day, you know, doesn't everybody I don't know, but that's where my mind thought, and my mind thought Valentine's Day because, oh, it's tied a little, it's tied a little tight. Let me untie it so you can see that pocket. The pocket is like a heart and it's pink and green. I think that it's just, so, you put this part around your neck like that and then, you know, you have your little apron on. If you need, if you wear an apron, I don't wear an apron. I tend to get a little messy when I cook. But again, this hung up on your wall, and, and it's another full apron, like I said. I think would be would be great. Then these aprons. <sighs> these two aprons are magical. I, I immediately, as soon as I saw them, I knew I knew immediately that I was going to buy them. Well, after I looked at the price, uh, and I want to say that these were. Maybe $9 a piece. I don't know. I think that they're great. It is a his and hers apron. And so this one is, okay, it's all embroidered on like a, like a canvas. And it says, detour, woman at work. And there she is. She's spilling her stuff. Look at those shoes though. Detour, woman at work. She's, she's lost her spoon. And then we also have danger man at work. I have to untie this so you can see the whole thing. Danger man at work. And he's got his little chef hat on. What's he doing? He's got a tool and an egg. He doesn't know what he's doing at all. Look, he's got his little skillet down there. Aren't these adorable? I mean, come on. I think these would be great. I, I mean, give them as a gift to people who are getting ready to get married or something or an anniversary gift. I don't know. I thought that they were great. I loved them a lot. Also in that same book, and like I said, everything is pressed and clean and so nice, which is just an amazing thing to see. But these little anthropomorphic towels, now we only have Monday and Tuesday, but this one is Tuesday. I'm a little pot. I'm a happy pot. And then we've got a little dish or a little covered bowl. They're little tea towels. I'm also happy and I got brown shoes. 
I don't, I just like this kind of stuff. Anth any anthropomorphic anything would be great. But I know though it was just Monday and Tuesday, but they were a dollar each. So I, I, I mean, how can you not? Then I got a tablecloth. I haven't measured this at all, so I don't know how big it is. It, 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 it appears to be maybe a rectangle shape, but it is lovely for spring with these colors. Aren't these fabulous? The pink and the blue and the green. I think that it's lovely and it's a nice size one. I can say that. There's a lot of material here. So, and it's again, it's clean. It's no stains. It's pressed. It's nice. It's lovely. I love it. It's great for spring. With this weather that we've been having, we, we were really cold over the holidays. It's 60 some degrees here today. I know that the it's getting ready to, we're getting ready to get hammered again by cold, but that just made, yesterday it was warm too when I was shopping and it just made me feel like spring. So I like that one a lot. All right, also in that same booth, I picked up some ephemera. I love ephemera. This book right here, it has a clown on it, which I don't like. I don't like clowns. But this is Happy Stories. I think you're, are you a coloring book? No, you're not a coloring book. It's Happy Stories, and it is, what, Two Fluffy Chicks? This was a dollar. I mean, I wasn't going to leave it behind for a dollar. And it's in really nice condition. Oh, my gosh, we, this is 1949, Saffield. I do love a Saffield book uh, made in the USA. So we have Kit and Cat. Oh, her name is Mrs. Purr. Come, my dear, said Mrs. Purr to her twin kittens, Kit and Cat, if you want me to read the funnies to you now. Oh my gosh, look at them. Look at the little twins. They're little twin kitty cats. Then we got a most wonderful idea. Look, that barber weaves your tails. Tails weaved. No, waved, not weaved. Because I was like, why would you want your tail weaved as a squirrel? But waves, I'm thinking like finger waves, we're going to say. Then we have two fluffy chicks. Oh, that's Mrs. Cluck. What's Mrs. Squirrel? Hazel Squirrel. Mrs. Cluck. The funniest thing. Brother Bear and Brother Fox. I mean a dollar. It's so cute. So I got that. And then I got this. This is June 1936. A California picture book from the Santa Fe Railroad. Um, and it is... Uh, well, it's all pictures of California. It's almost like a, a touring book. So it says, homemaking in California is a joy. Overlooking one of the most famous cities in the world, Hollywood, California. So it's just, it's a picture travel book from 1936. So we have the Southern California mountains, and then we go on to uh, the old missions. I don't know if this is all Southern California. We've got Oakland and Berkeley. Well, let me open it up to the first page and see what if it says. Just California. So I don't know. It's just, just California. But I, oh my gosh, look at this. Look how beautiful. I love things like this and so this one's from 1936 and it's in great, great condition. And I love that co that cover art with the Santa Fe Railroad emblem right there on the front. I don't remember how much I paid for that one, but it, was, it, it may be three or four dollars. I think it's what it was. And then I got some readers. Do I need any more books? No, I do not. But I love them. And I typically will look for books that have holiday stories on the inside, but I also look at them as far as a decor standpoint and how, how you can use them in your displays. Um, the graphics on the front and on the spines mean a lot to me and the colors of them, but no, uh, Knowledge Primer Games. And these are little games that you can play. And it says each little game is a complete story. It's a great shape. This one is a Albert Whitman book and it is from 1923 we fly to the flowers 
I love the illustrations. So we've got little, um, I do not bark, I do not catch mice. I do not run, I like to fly. I like to sing, hear me sing. I am a little, or I am little, I am yellow. Who am I? Wait, do we have the answers? We gotta know. Are the answers in the back? I don't know where the answers are. Well, we don't know where the answers are. That makes it a challenge for all of us. I do not bark. I do not catch mice. I do not, I don't like to play. I'm going to say it's a chick. I'm going to say it's a baby chick. I like that. I mean, I, I like I like the pictures and I like the, the, the cover on the outside. I love this one too. The work play boot. The work play books. Peter and Peggy. So I love books that have a cover, uh, some sort of graphic on the outside. And this one has the little dog and the tree on the back. This one is also in wonderful condition. This one's from 1931. It's a Macmillan, Macmillan Company. Um, the original copyright was 1930. But this particular one is 1931. And again, typical 1930s uh hair and clothing um so i don't know if this one has a oh my gosh but look at this one all of these children are riding that and the animals are riding on that horse's back i don't know if this one has any uh, holiday stories in it uh, but i liked all of the pictures on the inside here we got the rabbit the first day oh look they're playing school with their animals and their dolls Peggy gives Tags a book. Peggy gives Twinkle a book. Cats and dogs do not like school. Twinkle sleeps. Tag walks from the school. Peggy says, school is out. I love, oh, look, there's Tags and Twinkle. So we got a little bit of a, an extension of the story of Tags and Twinkle. So Peter and Peggy. I don't know if it's like a Dick and Jane, but with Peter and Peggy. The cover on this one gives me all kinds of life. It's a math book, which I don't like math in general, but look at the cover. Number friends. There's this little boy. He's got friends that are numbers. So I liked the col the, the colors and the cover on this book. Um, and it is basically, it's a math book. But we, we also have these wonderful illustrations and some naughty child performed and solved their subtraction in the book. Um... So, I don't know. I just, I, I liked it. I don't know if there's any anthropomorphic number friends in here. But it's a lot of, like, story problems. See, like here. The postman brought five letters to our house today and five letters yesterday. He brought blank letters in two days. I, that's, that's ten letters. I can do this math. That's about limited, the amount of math I can do. And the way that they teach math nowadays is completely different in um you know from when this book was written but i liked it and then these two books i did buy both of them because we have the new path to reading book one and book two so i had to get them both now look at that little brownie on there i haven't looked at the inside of these but i knew i just looked at a couple of them and i knew that i needed to get both of them I mean, and all of these books have this name, Evelyn Furnish. So these were all Evelyn Furnish's books. This one has very sepia-toned illustrations. There it is, Grandpa. See all the pretty candles? We brought it off for you to wish you a very happy birthday. And we have some recitations here. Good morning, dear children. Oh, this one is the little mouse who ran away. Once upon a time, a little mouse lived in a barn. He had a fine nest. He had good places to play. He found seeds and corns to eat, and he had plenty of milk. He had everything he needed. Well, why did, you, why did he run away? But he wasn't happy. He wanted to go up to live in a big house. No, no, said Mother Mouse. You must stay with me. Sounds like me talking to my baby boy. You are, you are too little 
to go out all alone. Stay here with me. But Little Mouse would not live with his mother. And he ran away that very day. He ran on and on. Great, poor mama. And then we have the New Path to Reading book two. Ooh, look at the, the cover plate on this one. All the little angels and fairies. So this one again has, ooh, a lot of the sepia tone, but look at the illustrations. I just love it. So that's the story of the wind and the sun. The wind boasted to the sun that he was very strong. Just watch me, he said. I can make the tallest trees tremble and I can break off their biggest branches. Ho, ho, Mr. Sun, you could never do that. But I'll bet you he did. And there's a whole story that went along with that. Oh, wow, look at the fairies. Okay, so this, I could go on and on and on talking about these books because I love them so much. But I did get these. And honestly, they look really nice together. They're all the same height. I like those. So those are, everything that I'm going to show you is going to be available in live sale very, very soon. All right. This, you did see me find this in the video. This is a floral line, which is, uh, which, which was made by Hager. It was like the part, the pieces that they would give it, you know, florist arrangements would have been delivered in, in these, but I love the color. And I thought for, I'm going to take this home cause I'm going to use it. And I got some faux flowers that I get from Dollar Tree. And look at how pretty that looks with that color. I mean, you can arrange them a little bit, maybe put a little bit of, that was a weird noise, greenery in there. But I love the color with that. So I'm going to take this whole thing home just like this and use it in my house. Put it right back there for now. Um, and then I also picked up these little guys. So we've got Pinocchio and his friends. These are little wooden Polish dolls. And I love them. They are, they are, um, I've asked it hinged. They're not hinged. They're, well, they, their arms and legs moved. What is that called? Jointed. Their arms and legs moved. Um, I think the only one that's marked pulling on the bottom is Pinocchio. But here we've got the little boy. And their faces are all hand painted on. We've got the little girl, and they've got their little red shoes. And then we've got Pinocchio. This one is marked Poland on the bottom. And he's got little jointed, uh, now the heads are not jointed, but their arms and legs are. But I think that they're adorable. And some of you may remember playing with these toys, but I liked them. So I did get these. Um, and then I got, this was, I think, $2. This is McCoy. And it is just a little duck planter. I've sold this one several times in many different colors. But for the price, I could not pass it up. It's a nice, chunky American piece of pottery. And I think for spring, this would be a nice to use it as a dis in, in a display. So I got those. And then these. I'm a sucker. I have so many of these that I need to sell them. I don't know why I'm holding on to them. But I got this little stack of tin toys or little tin dishes. And they're adorable. So this one's just a little red miniature pie plate and then we have um a little two little two little dolls and a rabid looking dog i don't know what's going on there in that story and then we have these are so adorable we've got the plate with a little girl and her kitten i wonder are those feathers did that kitten eat a bird is that what those yellow things are oh no 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 that kitten was smelling the flower, and those were the flower petals. And then it also, this is the most adorable part of the whole set, the little cup with the kitten. So cute. So this one fits on there like that. So this would have had more pieces to it, but I bought the whole stack. I want to say for $4. So that's adorable. But I need, I, I have a ridiculous amount of these that I need to start selling because they're, what am I going to do with them? But I, I do like them. And then I got these. These were one of the last things that I picked up. And several of the booths um, in the mall had 50% off or 40% off. 40 and 50% off of Christmas. These, I think, were 40% off. These are made by Ellie Smith. And I've sold the Amberina ones several times. Um, but, uh, but I got the set of them. Again, made by Ellie Smith. 
and they look really nice with a red candle in it. So I bought the candles with them. Just a little angel, great for um, for the Christmas. So I probably, I will set these. Um, I put them in pinky where I hoard all of the Christmas items until next year. Uh, but I do like, I do like these. You know what? The Amberina ones glow. Those do not. Does anything else that I bought glow? No, you do not glow. Nothing else glows. Nothing glows that I bought. All right. These next items are amazing. And I, I just, I talk about an instant collection. Let me, I'm going to put them all in a little tray here and I'll show them to you. But I just think that they're adorable. They're vintage toothbrush holders. They would be for a child's to or child's bathroom. Uh, and so here we go. We have three of them. And then, so, you know, uh, your child will put their toothbrush in there. So there's that one there, and then this the pirate holds two brushes on each side, and then the giraffe holds two brushes in his back as well. This, these, this is Trico. This is made in Japan. He's a little bellhop, but he's flat, and he has a hanger where you could set him like I had him standing up, or you could hang him on your wall. And then we've got the pirate. And the pirate and the giraffe both have this little ledge here at the bottom, and that would be for the toothpaste tube. So here is our pirate. And like I said, the toothbrushes go in. I've got two toothbrushes here. They can go in his little saddle bags there, and he can hold the toothbrushes in his boots and his hand. He also has a spot on the back where you could. I don't know why you would hang him on the wall, but you could if you wanted to. He's also marked Japan on the bottom. And then the little giraffe which is adorable. The giraffe also has a hole here where you could hang him on the wall, but he has two, three places for toothbrushes. These toothbrushes might be a little, like on those little holes there, they're a little wide. You know, a, a vintage toothbrush, which I would love to find to stick in there for a display. But look at that little face. He's adorable. So, these can be pretty collectible. People do collect them. And I want to say I paid $5 each for them. So I got them for a really good price. If they had more, I would have bought them all. Um, but they only had the three. And I think that they're just they're just adorable. At one time, these were very, very highly collectible. And as with a lot of vintage things, just kind of come and go as far as their collectability. But I think that they're adorable. And I, I'm so glad that I found them. And that was it. Those were all the things that I got from... Uh, the Lumber Mill Antique Mall in Madison, Indiana. It was a lot of fun. I mean, I um, I like going in there. I go in there. It's about a, a, a two-hour drive for me. So I'll get down there every three months or so. I usually will go down there. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a big mall. And they were very helpful. So I don't know. It was just a lot of fun. I like it. I know. I'm sitting. It's just a great mall. Uh, great prices and a lot of things to see. So if you were in the Madison, Indiana area, make sure that you go into Lumber Mill Antique Mall and check them out and take some time to explore, look at everything. There's a lot of booths that have a lot of ephemera. There's a lot of records. Um, there was even some clothing, some vintage clothing booths too. So pay them a visit and shop local and support these local vendors in the mall in Madison. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Thank you so much for shopping along with me at first, listening to the haul at the end. I really do appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I do have live sales right here on my YouTube channel every Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern with my buddy Mike Michael from the Cult of Vintage. We have a lot of fun and do these, um, have these really fun vintage sales every Tuesday. I also have a live sale every week on Whatnot. If you're not following me on Whatnot or you not don't know what the Whatnot platform is, I have a link down in the description that will explain everything and provide you with a link to save $15 off of your very first purchase. So go check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Red hot mama, red hot mama, you're the one we need. Red hot mama, some charmer, yes indeed. You say that I should be in the follies, hot tamales. You say that I got a pair of eyes just like old Sven Valleys. I could
Drop his fiddle, make a bald head, a man part his hair.